In this tutorial video, we'll explore the Scenario Planner tool on the State and Local Planning for Energy platform, or SLOPE, available at maps.nrel.gov slope. To explore your potential energy future, begin by clicking on the Scenario Planner tab at the top of the page. The Scenario Planner helps visualize the impacts of different clean energy strategies, such as energy efficiency deployment, grid decarbonization, and electrification of vehicles and buildings and how those strategies could affect your community's future energy consumption, CO2 emissions, and system costs through 2050. One potential application of SLOPE's Scenario Planner is to help jurisdictions understand how certain energy strategies can help meet ambitious decarbonization goals. To illustrate this, let's examine the CO2 emissions for Wayne County, Michigan, by first typing in the jurisdiction at the top of the control panel. Next, we need to select the energy system metric we're most interested in. By default, energy consumption appears, but users can also explore the impacts of various scenarios on CO2 emissions and the system costs and savings that would result from chosen scenarios. Let's select CO2 emissions to explore the impacts of different strategies on sector-wide decarbonization. As you can see, Wayne County's projected CO2 emissions through 2050 are displayed in the chart for a reference scenario and are broken down by colors representing different sectors and fuel types. We can see the largest portion of emissions comes from the emissions of non-electric personal vehicles. Now, let's see how their pursuit of various clean energy strategies could change this outlook. Select Comparison View to compare our reference case to some new strategies. Let's imagine that Wayne County is interested in exploring the impacts of decarbonizing their electric grid by 2035. We can turn on the corresponding toggle in the control panel. Users can also layer different scenarios, like a high level of energy efficiency or electrification, on top of this scenario. Let's look at a scenario that illustrates the combined impacts of 95% grid decarbonization and a high level of building and transportation electrification. This scenario's carbon emissions are shown in the chart. The county is projected to achieve significant emissions reductions in the transportation sector and in residential and commercial buildings' electricity consumption with these strategies. By clicking on the graphic, the year slider moves across the chart. Scroll down to see the details for a particular year displayed in the table. Planning metrics indicate how aggressive the scenario's assumptions are with respect to customer adoption of electric space heating and electric vehicle equipment and other key metrics, such as renewable energy integration and CO2 emissions reductions. For Michigan, more than three-fourths of its electricity would be supplied by renewables, and almost half of vehicles on the road would need to be electric by 2035 to meet this selected scenario's carbon emissions reduction goals. Wayne County can use these projections to help set realistic clean energy goals and interim milestones, and to understand how pursuing various clean energy strategies would contribute to these clean energy goals. By selecting a new planning metric, the user can explore changes in system costs at the state level to see trade-offs between investments and savings that Michigan may realize under this scenario. A summary description of the selected scenario is available at the bottom of the page. You can then compare this decarbonization scenario to a reference case, or any other scenario you'd like. By clicking Comparison View, you can select New Scenario Settings, and a side-by-side -side comparison will populate. You can always download your selected data by using the Download button near the top of the page. Start exploring Slope today and gain more insight to make informed, data-driven decisions toward a cleaner tomorrow.